delicious crab cake. And we're gonna take this to a whole nother level. You're gonna love these crab cakes. Crab cakes make you slap your mama. All right, welcome. This is Chef Joe Randall. Tonight we're gonna make a wonderful Savannah crab cakes with an herb mustard aioli. Jumbo them up at his fine. We hope you enjoy. Oh, that's really cooking. Let's get cooking. We're gonna mince a little fresh onion here. We want a little onion diced real fine. We don't want big chunks of onion. We just want to flavor the crab meat. So we need just a little butter. So we'll get some butter in here. Let that get to melting. And then we'll mince these onions a little bit more. And as soon as that butter is melted, we'll drop those onions in there and just kind of sweat them. Let the butter continue to melt. While the onions are sweating, we're going to crack a few eggs here and separate the egg whites. All we want is the yolk. We need about two egg yolks per pound of crab meat. I'm going to do two pounds of crab meat, so we need four egg yolks. We want to set these onions aside to cool, and that will help us build our emulsion. So the first thing we want to do is just kind of beat these egg yolks, get some air in them. The more air you can get in, the better they'll absorb the butter to make the emulsion. All right, one of what I want you to see is this wonderful Coleman's mustard. It's the gold standard of mustard. McCormick won't cut against it. Here we need a little wonderful gold mustard. Now, anytime you make an emulsion, a little mustard will help to bind the egg yolks and get it to stay as one solid. Get that whipped in good. The butter's cool. We just want to drizzle that slowly right into the egg yolk and the dry mustard. And just drizzle the butter in, keep whisking as you go, and then we'll incorporate the onions and the butter and start to build the emulsion. This is the glue that's going to help the crab meat to stick together. We just need to add a little mayonnaise now. Add a little mayonnaise, about a quarter cup of mayonnaise. We get that whisked in. Now we're going to make it taste good. We got to add some seasonings. We got a little cayenne pepper, just enough to give it a little flavor. We got a little white pepper. We got a little salt. We got a little, this is fresh chopped parsley. And we're going to add a little Worcestershire. Just a little Tabasco. We're going to take this to a whole nother level. All right, now we got a little Old Bay seasoning. Baltimore Spice Company. Primary ingredient is celery salt and then wonderful seasonings. Paprika, cayenne, black pepper, all those wonderful flavors. We need a little lemon juice. A little lemon juice. All right. Now, these are fresh breadcrumbs. All you do is take some regular white bread, cut the crust off of it, put it in a fruit processor, and just blend it till it's fine like this. And this is going to be the filler. We want some filler, but we don't want a doughy, bready crab cake. So now we get this stirred in, and we got to get this to the consistency we want so we can blend it into the crab meat. And normally I let the crab cakes rest. I let the crab meat rest about three hours in the refrigerator before you make your crab cakes. Most people talk to me about crab cakes. They tell me their crab cakes fall apart. And one of the secrets to keeping them from falling apart is let it rest and let the bread absorb all the moisture and get the flavor mixed all through before you go. All right, let me show you consistency. That's almost what we want, just a little bit more. We want it to bind the crab meat, but we won't, don't want them dry. So this is the glue that makes the crab meat stick together. There you go. When I make crab cakes, I love wonderful jumbo lump 
but sometimes it uh, gets a little expensive. I've seen it $30, $32 a pound. But if we uh, add a little lump and jumbo, we kind of cut the price in half. So I've got one pound of lump and one pound of jumbo lump. Jumbo lump and lump. And so we kind of mix these together. That means every crab cake will have some jumbo lumps in it. And then we'll start to add our mixture. Now, we just kind of get this in here and we're going to mix it together. But we don't want to break up those big jumbo lumps into little tiny pieces. So I don't use a spoon. I use my hand and just kind of fold it. Everybody has their own way of making crab cake, but this is mine. And you can see there's a whole lot more crab meat than the binder that we have. But again, I don't want to break up those big chunks. I don't want to squeeze it and break it up. We just kind of toss it and fold it. We want to form these wonderful crab cakes. And the thing you want to do is get about an ounce and a half of this wonderful mixture and put it in your hand. And what I do is flatten my fingers out and kind of shape it. So we have a nice height, and I turn it around and pat it down. And then we just duplicate that for as many crab cakes as you need. Again, one more time, just to see. You get a nice ounce and a half ball, ounce and a quarter. Shape it, turn it, and pat it down. Wonderful crab cake. Then you want to take your crab cake and just lightly dust them in flour shake off the excess, and then we're gonna put them in the grease and get them started. The word saute means to cook quickly in a small amount of fat. And the one thing you wanna do is make sure the grease is hot so you can sear and seal in the moisture. We take a wooden spoon, which is my thermometer, stick it in the grease, and you see some bubbles around the spoon. There'll be enough moisture in the spoon to let you know the grease is hot enough. We wanna put these crab cakes in a pan and kinda of tilt them away from you so the grease doesn't jump up and burn you. You don't want to just drop them in and get splashed on. I use cast iron because it's a wonderful conductor of heat and it means they cook evenly all over. We just want to cook these about two, three minutes on each side and we pop them on a sheet pan and pop them in the oven to heat all the way through while we make our aioli. But again, you just want to have the grease hot enough that you sear and seal in the moisture so the grease doesn't leach into them. And we got these turnover now, two, three minutes on each side. We're going to pop them on a sheet pan, and then we're going to put them in the oven for a few minutes just to heat them through. We don't want to overcook them, but we want to get them, make sure they're hot all the way through. All right, we're going to pop these in the oven. 400 degree oven for about three to five minutes while we make our aioli. A wonderful sauce for these crab cakes is going to be an herb mustard aioli. And aioli is a lemony mayonnaise, homemade. And we need to start out with a little garlic. So we're going to put a little garlic in and just kind of process that and get it smooth. And we're going to add a few egg yolks. You got four egg yolks here. And we want to do the egg yolks the same way we did when we were making the emulsion before. Whip it good to get some air in the egg yolks so that uh, it can absorb the olive oil. A little extra virgin olive oil. We just want to slowly drizzle it in. Slow drizzle. We need about a cup and a half of olive oil. Slow drizzle. After we get it bound like we want, then we're going to season it with a little salt, white pepper, a little lemon juice. A little fresh dill, we're almost there. All right, let me show you how we bind. Nice and tight. Then we're gonna add a little lemon juice, a little fresh dill, take the sprigs right off the stem. We don't want, this is called the leaves only. We don't want any of the coarse stem part. Little Dijon mustard. And we want to put a little white pepper. A little salt. A little lemon juice. 
just a little bit of white wine vinegar. And then we just want to blend that. And then once you got it blended smooth, and you take a look for your consistency. There you have it, a little fresh homemade mayonnaise with a little garlic and lemon juice. Mmm, that sure smells good. Look at them beautiful crab cakes. These are my Savannah crab cakes with a little herb mustard aioli. We hope you enjoy.